name is Crystal Hart from the Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement, and today we're going to look at student-paced Pear Deck and digital citizenship in Riverside Unified School District. The Department of Innovation and Learner Engagement has taken all common sense media lessons and created Pear Deck lessons that can be assigned as a student-paced lesson in Google Classroom. These lessons are ideal for students while in a distance learning environment. You'll need to access the RUSD Digital Citizenship website and click on the Student Pace Pear Deck Lessons. We have them available kindergarten through 12th grade. Scroll down and find your lesson and click on your lesson. It will provide a force copy. Click Make a Copy. You will now own a copy of the Digital Citizenship lesson, which is designed to be a student paced Pear Deck assigned through Google Classroom. You will want to rename the slide so that you can find it when you are ready to assign it to your students through Google Classroom. Before assigning a student paced Pear Deck, you will want to preview the lesson. Because you now own a copy of the lesson, you can add or delete anything you want for your students. To preview the lesson in student pace mode, you will want to click on Add-ons, click Pear Deck for Google Slides add-on, and open Pear Deck add-on. Click Start Lesson, and click Student Paced Activity. This allows all students to get the power of Pear Deck at their own pace. The teacher dashboard will give you some messages. Once you have read them, click Got It. To preview the Student Pace Pear Deck, you will want to click on joinpd.com and enter the join code unique to your session. Once you open joinpd.com, you will copy the code and enter it in the enter code bar. Now I can preview the Student Pace Pear Deck as a student. When you open up a YouTube video in Pear Deck, it will open in another tab. You will want to let your students know that after they watch a YouTube video embedded in Pear Deck that they need to go back to the Pear Deck tab. After I have watched the video, I also want to notice that it says Audio Embedded. Every slide has an RUSD teacher teaching the lesson, so the students will need to click on the headphones to hear what the teacher is saying. After you click on the headphones, you need to click the play. Before we begin our digital citizenship lesson, I want to give you a quick tutorial. After the students listen to what the teacher has to say, they will follow the directions and then click the arrow to progress to the next slide. Each digital citizenship lesson was created by an RUSD teacher and includes an introduction. The students will watch the introduction and then progress to the next slide. Again, audio is embedded on every single slide. There will be interactive Pear Deck slides embedded all throughout the Digital Citizenship lesson. Each slide is grade level appropriate and highly engaging. For example, on this slide, the students will draw two pictures showing what they like to do at home. Each lesson has key vocabulary embedded all throughout the lesson. When the student comes to the last slide, they will complete the last activity and then they can close out their Pear Deck lesson. Because we are the teacher and we are just previewing this lesson, we can now close this tab. Now that I've previewed the entire lesson, I can decide if I need to add or delete any slides to support my students with this digital citizenship lesson. If I want to add any slides, I can use all of the Google Slide features as I normally would. If I would like to add interactive Pear Deck lessons, I can use the Pear Deck bar and add any slides and activities that I think would be appropriate. Now that I have previewed the slides, I am ready to assign the student paced Pear Deck through Google Classroom for my students. 